Tom here from Warren Systems, and WireGuard is coming back to PFSense. With a short hiatus and some recode working, things are coming back together, but as an add-on package. I wanted to bring this up because obviously there was a lot of excitement about it, then there were some of the problems with it, and while some people took to complaining, other people took to coding, and specifically that's what I wanted to talk about is the current status of it and how it's coming together and how it's going to integrate with PFSense going forward. First, if you'd like to learn more about me and my company, head over to lawrencesystems.com. If you'd like to hire us for a project or some consulting, there's a hire us button right at the top of the website. If you want to help this channel out in other ways, there's plenty of links of how to connect with us and affiliate links down below or even joining YouTube or Patreon to support this channel and keep the ads to a minimum. All right, let's talk about what's going on here. Quick history, the PFSense folks had contracted someone to get this done. It wasn't done perfectly well. Uh, the internet got angry, of course, and some people said this is the end of this or end of that. This person right here, specifically Christian McDonald, decided it was time to write a package. Now, because this is integrated into the kernel of BSD, and yes, this is the code supported by Jason Donefield, and yes, that's where all this is being pulled from. I will spare you some of the details, but of course, leave them all linked below so you can read through where this is posted in my forums, see the steps of development, how it's coming along, detail out, interact with Christian if you have suggestions. I've been impressed with how well it's going. Now, let's actually take a look at it here. First, let's go over to the page. This is the PFSense WireGuard package page. This is a port of the original WireGuard UI bits as implemented by NetGate and PFSense 2.5 to a package suitable for sideloading and more frequent updating on future releases of PFSense. Then it'll break down all the details of exactly how to get it in here. And it has now been released in the development version as an official package. So yes, this is in the 2.6 development. No, this is not, but can be sideloaded in 2.51. I actually have a system set up here that we'll be covering that is running the 2.6 development version. Now, if you want to support this package, and this is one of the reasons I'm doing this video, I am sponsoring it as well as a lot of other people. And Christian, it does help when these developers have put their time in and someone wants to help sponsor it because they want to also help move things forward. And that's what the goal is here, is to get this package to what people are looking for integrated in PFSense. Now, let's talk about how he did things, not just did them, but did them in a really nice way. Let's actually look at how this works. So here's WireGuard, and it's very similar, but I will have to redo my videos, um, which I'm fine with, on WireGuard because he implemented things with a little bit more enhancement the way the tunnels and the piers and the settings are. Now let's go ahead and take a look at these tunnels, and I'm not going to blur anything out because this is all in my lab, and I'm going to connect my phone to it. I open up my phone and turn WireGuard on. I've not done much work with this other than basic configuration here. So now I've got it turned on on my phone. It's connected to this particular tunnel. So you're seeing where you can generate the keys, copy the keys, that's all working fine. But then the peers are a little bit different. And the peers now go under right here. That way you can choose what the parent tunnel is for each individual peer. I kind of like this as a slightly different way to set this up, but a you know, nice feature nonetheless for uh, allowing you to I think better manage when I mean, you have a lot of different tunnels and a lot of different peers instead of trying to nest them all under one. But, you know, the minor interface UI change uh, doesn't change too much of the functionality. It does work. Other thing that someone had asked is about hiding secrets. And this one right here is another feature enhancement. With hide secrets enabled, all secrets, private and pre-share keys are hidden in the inter user interface. I think a few people have mentioned this when I did my WireGuard videos. They thought it shouldn't be displayed. And kind of the comment back to that is, if you're logged into the firewall with root privileges, it does kind of display them. I guess it could be asterisked out. And I fair enough. I, I, I liked that it was in there. I was hoping it'd be a future thing PFSense did. But hey, Christian thought of it and said, you know, that's a good feedback thing. So we can check this box, hit save. Then we're going to go back over here to the tunnels and we'll edit the tunnel. And hey, look, we've hid the interface key. Pretty cool, though. This is a little feature enhancements. Now, another thing of note, I think this is just handy. Right here, we have interface assignment and WireGuard interface group. I'm just going to open up a new tabs here, but it's basically a way to bring you right to the tab for the WireGuard firewall settings, as opposed to having to go to firewall rules, WireGuard. Why not put it there? Matter of fact, it also goes here to the tab for interface assignment. So if we assign an interface to this, we'll hit save. 
go over here if we wanted to enable the interface apply then we're going to go back over and refresh the page it takes a second all right and reload this page here now it shows you the assignment that it's assigned on there these little you know enhancements i actually really like from a standpoint of you know integrating it in here and uh this is something that instead of waiting for a new version of PFSense, this is loaded as a plugin, as a package. Um, they'll be able to iterate faster. So if there's suggestions and things like that, especially while it's in development phase, I do suggest you head over to GitHub and throw some suggestions in there, heading over to the forums where he's been posting updates and has a YouTube videos as well of how the progress has been going. So I'll be, like I said, leave links to all this, but I'm really happy to see the progress in here. And the final thing I'll mention is this, you can see my phone connected. Now I had showed before in my videos, and like I said, those are not on there anymore, but anyone who's done my other WireGuard videos knows you can show peers and show connections on there. And uh, that was not displayed through the UI like this previously in PFSense, and now it is. So you have this option here when I connect device like my phone that's connected here you can see how long it's been connected how many kilobytes of data have been transferred and if i disconnect it which i just did i think it'll refresh and if i start a new session because the session hasn't dropped on this side last handshake one second ago because i turned it on and off again so you can see when the last handshake packets were sent uh, for each of these a little nice thing so you don't have to drop down to the command line to see it nonetheless though i will be leaving links to all of this and the development of it so if you want to sponsor a project help out christian on this project or just have some good ideas you want to see implemented and you don't just want to complain down below i mean there's go ahead there's a good reddit thread for people that just want to keep complaining but for people that want to help uh, progress this and keep coding um i'll leave links where you can do that all right thanks and thank you for making it to the end of this video if you enjoyed this content please give it a thumbs up if you'd like to see more content from this channel hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to hire a sure project head over to lawrencesystems.com and click on the hire us button right at the top to help this channel out in other ways, there's a join button here for YouTube and a Patreon page where your support is greatly appreciated. For deals, discounts, and offers, check out our affiliate links in the descriptions of all of our videos, including a link to our shirt store where we have a wide variety of shirts and new designs come out, well, randomly. So check back frequently. And finally, our forums. Forums.lawrencesystems.com is where you can have a more in-depth discussion about this video and other tech topics covered on this channel. Thank you again, and we look forward to hearing from you. In the meantime, check out some of our other videos.